Welcome to Breathing Systems. We're a manufacturer of life support systems used in the petroleum refining and ammonia industries to protect the lives of workers inside catalytic reactors. We've been in business since 1988, and our life support systems are certified by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. And our products are manufactured in accordance with a NIOSH-approved quality assurance program. The main objective of our quality program is to ensure that our products consistently meet design, application, and reliability standards. Now let's take a look at the life support system and see how it operates. The life support helmet includes two independent breathing regulators. Either regulator will deliver the total breathing air required by the user. The helmet provides a respiratory protection in toxic, oxygen deficient atmospheres that are hazardous to life and health. Breathing air is supplied to the helmet regulators through an umbilical, which includes two air supply hoses, a communications cable, and a steel safety cable. One air hose delivers breathing air to the primary helmet regulator, while the other air hose delivers air to the secondary helmet regulator. The small air cylinder mounted at the side provides five minutes of self-contained breathing air for emergency egress. The control console includes primary and secondary air controls. The primary air controls seen at the top are color-coded blue, red, green, and yellow. The secondary air controls, located below, serve as an automatic backup to the primary. If a problem occurs with the primary, the secondary air system operates automatically. When the secondary system is in use, a pulsing red indicator lights in rhythm with breathing. This backup assures an uninterrupted breathing air supply. Low pressure alarms monitor the air supply. When the air supply pressure reaches 500 PSI, an amber warning light is switched on and a pneumatically operated warning bell sounds. To place the system into operation, the console operator turns on the secondary air control valve. As air begins to flow through the umbilical into the helmet, the helmet is closed. The operator at the control panel sees a visual indication of breathing at the controls. Your secondary air is on and everything reads normal. The secondary flow light is pulsing with your breathing. Now I'm going to turn on your primary air. Okay, go ahead. Okay, everything is fine here. I'm reading you loud and clear. As primary air begins to flow through the umbilical into the helmet, the secondary system shifts to a standby mode. The primary air is on and everything is normal. The secondary system has switched to standby. Okay, well thank you very much. I'm ready to go. The alarm for the console air supply is tested by closing the valve on the primary air supply cylinders. As air pressure drops to 500 PSI, as we learned earlier, an amber warning light comes on and a warning bell sounds. The console automatically shifts to the secondary air supply to provide uninterrupted breathing air to the helmet. The pulsing red light confirms that the secondary system is operating. In the event an emergency egress must be made, the self-contained breathing system is turned on at the egress cylinder. The worker disconnects from the umbilical to enable him to rapidly egress from the area. Thank you for your interest in our life support systems. If you would like additional information or if you have any questions, please contact your local sales representative or call us here at Breathing Systems.